What's up Redline360 fans? We want to make this video today to kind of talk to you guys about something that a lot of you guys have a lot of questions about. We get these questions every single day about our seats and we wanted to make sure we address everything for you guys in one clear video. So one of the probably most like common questions that we get every single day is, will your aftermarket seats fit my car? We have a great way of explaining to you how um, to make sure it will fit and I'll start off by telling you guys this. So for the most part, all of our seats fit majority of uh, vehicles. They're all universal. So there's none that are specific for any type of vehicle. We do have measurements on all the product pages of width, height, everything like that. It's up to you guys to measure your vehicle to make sure. And I'll kind of give you guys an idea of how. So we're gonna use the NRG FRP 300 seat as our example. And as you can see, when you're looking at the seat, this is probably the biggest width as it sticks out the most. So if you're having a, if you have a smaller car, like maybe like an S2000 or a Miata, it may not fit as well, but we'll kind of explain. So if you measure from the sides, you'll see that this is about 24 inches. That is the width. So you wanna make sure that if you are measuring that 24 inches, that your vehicle from the inside, and I'll show you what we're talking about. This is the Redline 360. M3 that we've been showing you guys in all the videos. If you guys see here, the width barely is at 24 inches. So the Energy FRP 300 will fit this vehicle. It'd be, it'd be a slight fit, but it will fit. So that's what we were kind of talking about with the, you know, the S2000 or a smaller car like that. This specific seat will not work for you. So that's how you would measure to make sure it does fit. So another question that we get fairly often is, are sliders required? So no, sliders are not required. They're literally a personal preference. They're great if you have, um, if you don't want the seat to be fixed, you want it to move front and back to get the proper leg room, or if you have multiple drivers of the same vehicle. Now, if you are into racing and you want the seat to be fixed, it does help by lowering the seat about an inch to give yourself a little bit more helmet room. Now, another question that we do get about sliders is, our sliders included. Now, on all the seats, it will uh, on the seats product page, I should say, it will show if the sliders are included or not. If they're not included, we do have a link for the most part at each product page to show you where to get the sliders from our site as well. All right, another question that you guys have that we want to answer for you guys is, we have your we have the seat now. What about the brackets? So the seats that we carry, only aftermarket brackets will work. If you see a seat on our site and you see a bracket on our site, all the brackets that we carry will work with all the seats that we carry. If you wanna buy a bracket from our site but you did not buy the seat from our site, too bad. I'm just kidding, we're still gonna help you out. If you have an aftermarket seat that you did not buy from Redline 360, what we need from you guys is the measurements of the, of the bottom of the seat. So this is how it's gonna work. So typically you guys um, can use inches if you need to, but it's a little bit more accurate with millimeters. So what you're gonna do is go from the middle and measure from the middle to the middle of the other side. So if you see, it's about 33 and a half millimeters one way. The other way, we're gonna go from the middle to the middle again. So you're looking at about uh, 38 millimeters roughly. So. That's how you would measure that to make sure. Now, as far as brackets go, if the bracket's already on the side from like maybe like uh, Spec D or Megan Racing, those brackets are good to go, ready to ship as long as they're in stock. If you need custom brackets for a custom seat, those will typically take one to two weeks to build. Um, another question that we do get is, will your seats recline? So when you're looking at the seat, you can see that this specific one has no lever, nothing on it that would allow any kind of, of recline. This is a fixed seat, it does not recline. This specific one will not. Some of the Braum ones do, we have Spec D ones that do. Um, that's pretty much the easiest way to tell. Um, as far as brackets go, that's probably the most important question that we get is, do you have brackets? On our site, we're adding a majority of brackets. If you don't find one for your specific car, please reach out to support at redline360.com and we can help you out. Now, probably uh, the final question that we have is, do these seats come in a pair or are they sold individually? Now, 
for the most, on every single one of our seat product pages, it will actually show sold individually, which means that we're only selling one at a time, or sold as a pair, which means that you will get two. Another easy way to tell is if the main picture on the product page shows two seats, you're going to be getting a pair. So hopefully we cleared up a lot of the headaches that come with buying seats. If you guys do have absolutely any other questions, you know who to reach out to. If you have any questions on, um, on YouTube or anywhere you're watching this, please ask questions in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for more videos like this and we can't wait to help you guys out soon. Thank you.